Hey, so part of having an awesome looking landscape is having awesome looking perennials and colors with annuals. I wanna put pots with annuals along my driveway and pots on my front porch with hanging baskets to give that nice pop color and it'll make it look so dang awesome. So I've got all these annuals here. We're gonna pot up these pots and plants and create some hanging baskets and I wanna show you how I do that. It's really quite simple. You just kind of put them in the pot and just plant them up and start watering them and fertilizing them. You can buy these all pre-made up, but you, know, you pay a little bit extra to have it all done. But they are awesome, the ones that you can buy, because they're already full of color and full of life and already all blooming. So I didn't have the money to be able to afford that. So because these pots are so tall, they take up so much space and I don't have enough soil to fill up the whole pot and they get super heavy. I'm putting these wood chips in here. They look like this, this bark. And then I'm gonna put some of these old milk jugs and containers to kind of take up some space. I'm just gonna put soil on the top. So this stuff's from SunGrow. It's supposed to be some awesome soil. I don't know anything about it. Garden Nursery just kind of told me this is the greatest stuff on earth. So that's why I'm using it and that's why I bought it. So I've got these tin cans here. My wife reclaimed these from somewhere. I'm not sure where, but, oh, we got these from the dump. Got them at the dump. So I want to put flowers in here as well. So I need to put some holes in the bottom for drainage. One of the hardest parts about doing pots and baskets and is kind of getting the arrangement quite right. And so if you're at all questioning, go to your local nursery and ask them what would kind of coordinate well together. You almost cannot go wrong. If you just put any kind of annuals in there, you generally want something tall and then something bushy and then something that kind of trails over the side and hangs down a little bit. But it's really not that hard. Just go about your business and plant them and in about a month they start flowering and it really doesn't matter. It's, they'll look awesome really any which way. So just put petunias in this one and lobelia, lobelia here and here, and then petunias. Petunias are kind of pretty common and I like them. They're awesome and for color and they look beautiful, so. Okay, so here's the final product of the potted up annuals. These pots are gonna look awesome once they fully kind of bloom out and they'll kind of fill up the basket and hang over a little bit. But it, they turned out really good. So I probably spent around $200 for the plants here and my wife and I kind of potted them all up and so we saved money doing it that way. And they don't look super awesome now, but they will totally bush out and they will spring to life and they are gonna give a lot of color for the landscape. So if you're looking for some way to add a lot of pop to the landscape, annuals are definitely the key. that the project is done. It's an awesome project. Really enjoyed it and it's going to make the lawn even better. So really quick I just want to do a follow-up uh, shot of the hanging baskets. So there's some of the baskets that I planted and here's one of the pots that I planted. They've grown quite a bit and they look great. More of my um, pots right there. So just wanted to give you a quick update of what these baskets and pots look like after one month's growing. And they look pretty good. I'm really happy with them. So I appreciate you guys watching these videos and I will see you in the next one.